Maybe I'm on behalf of you. We had a question uh, last time about the uh, takbir. So if we uh, have determined by Allah our uh, destination, the destiny, then why should they work hard? That's one question. Another question is for myself. In regard the uh, first session of uh, lecture, is it uh, if they have relation before marriage and they have pregnant after the baby born, should they get married again or just one time when they are pregnant? Because. In the ruling of nikah, you cannot uh, have nikah when uh, the woman pregnant. Is that all right? Yeah. It's a long idea, right? And is a long, long explanation, but in, in summary, a boy was studying, born abroad, and he came back. He asked the chef, Chef, I have three questions. Uh, the first question, he said, oh, uh, ask about takbir. Second question about, if shaitan was created from hellfire, and Allah going to put in hellfire, what will happen? Right? And then, I think the first question about Allah existence. Is Allah exists? Takdir and Shaitan. What is the question? Is Allah exists? Apakah Allah ada? What's the second one? Takdir, third one? Shaitan. So the Shaitan come closer to me. And come closer? What do I want here? Wait, this is So the come closer here. Now so the camera. He hit it. Why you hit me? You know the answer why you hit me, he said. That's the answer. So what do you mean? When I hit you, what do you feel? I feel pain, man. Can you explain to me how it looks like that pain, yellow or green? I feel. But you feel it, right? That's the first answer. Allah exists. You don't feel it. How you exist? This is okay. How about Takdir? Did you dream last time that I went to Tembalangi? <laughs> Some you? Slightly? I said, no, that's Takdir. Takdir is something that only happened. But you can make point. Right? About Shaitan, when I hit you, you feel pain, right? Where you, was, where you come from? Where you was created? From the clay, yeah, from what? From the clay. So you take from the clay and my hand from the clay. And you, what you feel is the sin. Shut down from the fire, put the fire, get the sin like feeling, yeah? So, takdeer is one of the important belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just. Allah is adil. Allah is fair, right? Somebody one day during Umar time he said, Why did you steal? Can I have a jury? Yeah, Umar, it's tough to be. Umar, to pull out the people. Why do you eat me? He said, Tough to be. Yeah? That's your choice. Because Allah gives you your choice. It's like you have, you have what you call? You have kid. Right? As you do the whole walk. Right? They have choice to do it or not do it. Yeah? Second question about if the woman pregnant because of the committing adultery, yes, they can marry. And we need to, do, to renew marry again. Don't know, you don't know. This ayah, the woman pregnant is the one who pregnant because he married. Somebody married, her husband divorced her, she cannot marry before she delivered their baby. Because this is legitimate marriage. But if somebody commits adultery, and they marry, you need to renew it. 
And by the way, the, the boy or the girl that going to born is innocent. It's clean. Yeah? Jangan sampai orang anak jajar. The boy is innocent. He nothing. Yeah? You know, in, in Bosnia, 60,000 women raped by Bosnia Christians. Right? There's many babies there. So Sheikh Fakhawi said, keep the baby. And brought them up, bring them up, become good. We don't know. Maybe they become good. So because they are the NSC. Yeah? Uh, what's the next question? Yes. Um, what is the happiness in Islam? And uh, what is the hadith how does the what does the Quran and the hadith and the Sunnah say about um, how one should uh, respect and interact with, with parents? And also what is the benefit what is the benefit of Tajweed in Islam? Tajweed, oh okay, okay. Yeah. Happy. Maybe you can answer what happy is being what's happy? Huh? What is happiness? Remember, I mentioned just yesterday, the enemy looking for what? Pleasure. Looking for what? Pleasure. Uh, pleasure, yeah, when you eat, when you drink, then you're looking for pleasure. You, 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 you are, but happiness must be what? Spiritual. So happiness is Islam when somebody can connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can what? Yeah? Uh, Jeffrey, you know Jeffrey Lam? An American, he became Muslim. He has a daughter. He says, Daddy, why are you always afraid? He could say, because I'm a Muslim. He said, you know, my, my sweetheart, Allah the one who created me, and created you, created the heaven and the earth. And, and now I know that Allah is going to love us. Allah is love us. But you know, what, uh, how do you feel that I love you? Because you care about me. I know that. But when you feel it, when you kiss me, when you hug me, you say, okay. So I know I, Allah loves me and I love Allah SWT. But something I want to express my love. And I have to my love when I say, Allahu Akbar. Right? The same when I hug you. And she better cry, say, oh, yes. That I will make a mystery here. Yeah? Do you know that I ask questions to your answers tell me? Yeah? Do you believe that your, your parents love you? Can you answer? Yes. Yes. Hey, come on. Do you believe that your parents love you? Okay. How did you know that? He care about you? Yeah? Okay. Now uh why your parents love you? Anybody? Why your parents love you? Yes. Very good. Because Allah SWT put love in the heart of your mind. You know, if Allah is put there, when you are baby and you always cry, your mom will put the garbage. Baby. <laughs> Right? But because of that love, they sacrifice until your mom didn't sleep all night because of you. Yeah? So you have to love your parents or some love who? Allah, the one who put that love. So when you, when you pray, you be happy. Oh, I talk to Allah. Yeah? Okay? Uh, the second one is about hadith. What does hadith mean? Hadith is what? The same and the action and the approving of the prophet, the three elements. What the prophet say, anyone memorize with just one hadith? Right. In English, in Arabic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You have to say something. You memorize very really strong, right? Memorize something, hadith. Yeah? Anybody? Okay. Uh, the last one is Tajweed, yeah. Tajweed is very important, yeah? 
Iman Quran, Iman Ustaz, Tajwid. Apa bahasa? Laisa min, laisa min naman la metawanna bil Quran. It's not among us, the one who did not read Quran with Tajwid. As best as you can. Right? Because it's different you you read Quran with Tajwid without Tajwid, right? When you see the Imam read, right? You feel something, right? And the Imam said, Sudarabarrahim. You don't feel. Yeah? Even at that, yeah, you have to cross select it. Mu'adhin, they have a good voice. Because not everybody always has to give a talent. If you are not good, you know I have a story, is how when you have bad effect, will affect the others. There is a, this is in, in, in Mesodinia. This Mu'adhin in the masjid, he have bad voice. Allah, I can. And people remind him, hey, no, I'm the one who will be the masjid. And I am the Muslim. We can in Macedonia, or the Muslim and Christian mix it. So this Muslim, this is also they have, they have gradient, they have a church. The daughter of the priest, they went to study in Turkey. So they study what is that? And she wrote a letter that maybe I want to become Muslim. It's a great religion. Imagine you are a priest and your dad will become the worst. But she cannot do nothing, she cannot do nothing. So when, on the vacation, she went back. So in the morning, you heard Adhan. So he asked, Daddy was dead. That's the Muslim they call Adhan. Oh, Daddy like that. <laughs> so if I become Muslim, I get to hear five times a day. Oh, thank God. I will never ever become Muslim. So the next day, the priest went to the masjid. There was an akika, a lot of people there. The priest brought up a gift. He said, Where's the Muslim? People were standing looking for Muslim. Everybody had Muslim. I need to talk to him. Go over there. She so came, he hugged him, he gave the gift. Yeah, for me, yeah. And he gave money. And he left. And the Muslim was surprised, What for this? Somebody followed him. So why did you give me something like that? Because he said my daughter. He said my daughter. Because you give him the bad image about Islam. So don't be like that Mahdim. You are a Muslim in high school, in school, and people feel you not different than others. Right? Who can tell me the story about I want to cross the law? Story about the, the, the opposite story, about Ayu. Anybody remember that story about Ayu? Can you forget? A handsome boy in Baltimore by name Ayu. And there's another woman, American woman, her name is Angela. She just finished graduate, she stayed in Rome. So he, she met Ayu in the library. Because Ayu is handsome, she tried to seduce him. But Ayu said, I'm sorry, Angela, there is no dating in Islam. We are not in Islam. I said, what? Well, how you get married without dating? And uh, Angela said, oh, this boy is lost. <laughs> but he had this principle because he knew his religion. Now I'm going to study Christianity, and I want to convert him to Christianity. So they used to sit down in the library, discuss about religion. And I know he knows a little bit of the Bible. You know, Angela, Jesus is not God. So what? It's in the Bible. In Matthew said, I pray to my Father in the heaven. My Father is greater than me. Without him, I cannot do nothing. He looked at him. And you know, Angela, you're not supposed to eat pork. I said, what? It's in the Bible. In the book of Corinthians. He said, look at yeah. Even pork is forbidden in Christianity. The next day, I have said, you know, Angela, you have to wear the hijab. Hijab? I'm not Muslim. It's in the Bible. <laughs> and she opened the Bible and said, yeah. So now Angela, she stopped eating pork and she wearing hijab. So when her mother was worried, she said, what happened, Angela? Are you Muslim? She said, no, no, I'm a good Christian. I'm following the Bible. <laughs> so because she's still worried, she took her to the church to let the priest advise her. So after the sermon, and everybody left, they said, Angela, I heard from your mom 
that you didn't eat pork anymore. He said, yes, sir, I found the Bible. And why are you wearing that stuff? You're not Muslim. Sir, it's in the Bible. Oh, Angela, you don't understand the Bible yet. You're still young. If you know that verse, not for now, that for that century. <laughs> the two people don't want to do it. Angela said, from that time, I hate you. I don't want to come to church anymore. It's hypocrisy. And you, as a good boy, he said to his mom, mom, you know, I met a girl. She's pretty, but we only talk about religion, but I'm worried. What I have to do? So, it's what happened, if it happened to you, always tell your mom, you got Tell your brother what happened. I have a relation with somebody. Tell me. And the mother said, I want to see her. Yeah? Why well, don't invite her for your graduation? In the bar, in Islamic school, have graduation. That's a good idea. So, he invited Angela. And Angela came with her sister. There was two. Her name Angela. Angela, Angela. Okay. So anyway, they came, and both of them were in hijab. They had graduation. Then for Salat, everybody went to the hall. Because they are not Muslim, they went outside. A Muslim brother who came late, when he saw two sisters outside, he said, hey, sister, you're not supposed to be here. It's time for Salat. Angela said, Salat, that is good food. <laughs> I'm hungry. That's good food. You know this true story, if you want to know the story, look at the Juma magazine. In the title, I hate Islam. It means because I you, I hate Islam. But because of that, look at what happened in the end. And he said, in the, in, when he said, everything after the become Muslim, I heard the word Salat, I was loving. I remember that food. <laughs> so anyway, I went inside, and I saw people who was praying. Oh, okay, Salat and pray. Short story, because of the time, in the end, Angela became Muslim. And he married with Ayub brother. Not Ayub because Ayub younger. Ayub her brother also handsome. And now they have a daughter and her name is Asma, three years old. Right? Question to you all the youth. How did Angela become Muslim? Because of what? Huh? Because she thought that what uh, the boy said in the Bible, that what Muslim did was in the Bible, and she was young, so she didn't know, so she just followed the word. Good, good answer. Another, another reason. Anybody? What did Ayub say when Angela tried to seduce him? What? There's no pachara. This, this word, there's no dating, that cause Angela to think. So how many of you can do that? Right? So be like, like are you. Now I ask question. Now every time Angela pray and fast, whatever Angela do, who will get credit? Are you. So be like are you. Yeah? So inshallah you are success in this life and also success in the next life. Yeah? Uh, so we finish our discussion today. So after this, we'll do Salah Dur.